Hey yogis, it's Julia. I'm so glad that you're here because today I have a video that you're going to want to save. It's gonna be your go-to video when you need a quick total body burn based on yoga. So I have 10 yoga-inspired exercises that I absolutely love when I need to tone up my body real quick and I don't have a ton of time. So we're gonna get started right away. And as we move through, I'll be sure to let you know how to modify some of these exercises or how to ramp them up. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and some daily inspiration. These moves actually come from one of my one hour yoga classes that you can find over on the Yoga Plus app. I've designed these moves specifically to target some of the big burner muscles in our body that you absolutely, absolutely have to work if you do have a weight loss goal, because these are the muscles that are gonna help you rev up your metabolism, you're gonna have more energy, and you're gonna feel more stable and strong in any physical practice that you do. And if you've been practicing with me either the first time or for a long time, you know I'm all about yoga. And one of the reasons I'm all about yoga is because of yoga's ability to teach us how to manage our stress better. So whether it's a huge life goal that you wanna tackle or it's a physical goal that you wanna tackle like weight loss, you absolutely have to have stress management tools in your tool belt so that you can feel more equipped and empowered and also on a physiological level so that you can start to balance out some of your hormones. So these are the things you need if you're starting on a yoga journey, a weight loss journey, or a life journey, and I'm excited to do it with you. So if you enjoy this class or you find it a little challenging, then I encourage you to head over to the Yoga Plus app so that you can enjoy the entire full one hour version of this class. So as we move into tabletop, bring your hands under your shoulders and your hips over your knees. I start in tabletop a lot in my yoga classes and also in my home practice because it just helps me set up my spine and begin to turn on some of the muscles we absolutely need to have on if we're going to stabilize and support ourselves during movement. We're going to start today with one of those exercises that helps us find stability and balance and control. Bird dog. So send your left arm forward and your right leg back Bonus, we're working our brain as we figure out our rights and lefts. Take an inhale. On your exhale, draw elbow to knee. And we're gonna take alternating bird dogs. So breathe in as you send your arm and leg out. Exhale, touch it down. Take the other side, right arm forward, left leg back. Find a moment to stabilize and pause. So you feel the hug in, the reach out. And then on your next exhale, draw your elbow and your knee together. If you can make contact, actually push them together. If there's still a few inches that you're working with, that's totally fine. Inhale, send it out. Exhale, drop it down. So as you start to alternate, notice if you're dumping a lot in the low back. If you are, zip up that front pelvis and draw your belly button to your spine. And let's begin. Reach it out. Hug elbow to knee. Inhale it out. Touch it down. Other side. Out. In, out, down, out, in, send it out, stabilize down, out, hug it in, send it out, touch it down. Now let's do four on each side. Reach opposite hand and leg, and then elbow to knee on your exhale, squeeze in. As you inhale, expand way out, exhale, draw it in. Inhale, send it out. Exhale, draw it in. Two more. Reach and squeeze. Reach and squeeze. Last time, out. Touch it down and just wag your hips side to side. Great work. Four on the other side. Extend arm and leg. On an exhale, hug it in. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, squeeze it in, feel your ribs draw in. Reach out, expand. Exhale, hug in. Reach out, expand. Hug in like you mean it. Good, inhale it out. Touch it down, let's take some cow and cat. So soften the belly down, open the chest forward. Exhale round, 
gaze down or gaze back. Moving from the tailbone up to the crown, exhale, cat your back and press into your palms. One more time. Scoop the heart through and exhale into your cat. Good, pause through the center. Before we move on, let's just juice the hips a little bit, get them ready for some of our bigger motions. Send just the right leg back, bend into your knee, and you're going to take some circles, like you're drawing big oval shapes. Imagine you had a pen or a Sharpie marker between your upper leg and lower leg bones, and you're drawing oval shapes on the side of the room. And then switch the directions. So as you switch the direction, you're working with gravity in the opposite way, turning on different muscles. Good, one more big circle and send it down. So we're letting these circles be fluid. Opposite leg back, left leg back. Heel comes in and then start with your big circles. As big as your body lets you make them, allow them to be fluid. Great work, switch directions. We usually start in the path of least resistance, so if you notice switching directions makes it a little harder, that's normal. Good, one more big circle. And release down, great work. Tuck your toes here, and then push back to downward facing dog. Pedal your legs so you can loosen up from the bird dogs and the hip circles. And then ground through your hands, press into your hands. Wrap the biceps in slightly so your neck feels a little longer between your upper arm bones. Continue to ignite the belly to keep the spine nice and stable. Energize down through your heels, relax the back line of the legs. So you're getting a nice stretch through the back line of the legs. Good, so we're gonna move on to my next move. On your next inhale, move your gaze forward. As you exhale, step or lightly hop if you're ready for a hop to the top. Halfway lift, forward fold. Come into chair, sit back and down. So your weight's gonna go into your heels, sit bones back. Your knees aren't coming way far forward, your knees are shifting back. Take your hands to your heart, and then draw the belly in so it'll feel like you smoothed out the lower back just a little bit. Draw the belly in, and then heel toe your feet about hips width distance. So here you have a nice wide base. Reach your arms up, and we're gonna keep the chair in the legs, but we're gonna find rotation in the upper body. Inhale to sit back and get long. Exhale, twist to the right, right arm back, left arm forward. Then circle that back arm down and back up. Inhale through center, exhale to twist. Inhale through center, exhale to twist. Breathe it through center, open to twist. Breathe it through center, open to twist. Center, twist, center, twist. Every exhale is a rotation. Every inhale, you're long through the middle. Stick with it. You're here for four, three, two, one. Inhale through center. Oh, relieve those legs, exhale, forward fold, drop your brain. Halfway lift your chest, plant your palms, step back to high plank, hold a high plank just to turn on the belly, zip up the legs, press into the ground, feeling super strong here. One more breath in, downward facing dog, breath out. Deep inhale. Big exhale. Lift your right leg skyward. Inhale. Step through to lunge. Exhale. Open up to warrior two. So now we're gonna play with the footwork a little bit. So as we go through this next exercise, we are challenging the legs, but we're also finding some range of motion and mobility for the hips. And we'll do it on each side, so each leg gets a chance to lead. So sink down into your warrior two, outer edges of the feet press, inner arches and inner thighs engage a little bit, drop the tail. So your knee, if it starts to wonk in, continue to track it out. Gaze over the front middle finger. Good, inhale through the center. You're gonna come to star pose and then you're gonna do that little fancy footwork, switch your feet, warrior two. Let's take that breath with movement. 
Inhale through the center. Exhale, switch your feet. Inhale, rise. Exhale, switch. So we're thinking full body, get big in the middle. Exhale, sink it low. Lift it up, sink it low. Keep it fluid and go only as quick as you can control. So, so much more interested in control here. Lift, switch and lower. Lift, switch and lower. One more time. Lift, switch and lower. Lift, switch and lower. Good, come through the center. Take a pause in a horse, sink low. Just stabilize here, moving the knees back. Great work, inhale, open it up. Exhale, warrior two. Stay low in the front lunge, reverse your warrior. And exhale, hands to the earth. Step back to downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Let's do that exercise on the other side. Lift your left leg high. Step it through to lunge. Warrior two, spiral the back heel down, open up. So that front heel is gonna bisect the back arch. Rooting down into the legs. So you are drawing in and up, but if your knee starts migrating in, you also have to hug the knee out so it tracks in line with the center of your foot. Good, and now let's find a little bit of mobility. Star pose, get big. Warrior two, back through center, and return to the start position. Good, so lifting it up like a little clap in the middle. Exhale, let it go low. Inhale, getting big, switch those feet. Exhale, sink low. Good, so finding the footwork, finding a little bit of coordination, as well as challenging the legs. And you're probably noticing that because you're using your entire body, your heart rate's getting up, you're getting warm pretty quickly. Just keep switching at your own pace. Breathing through the middle, exhaling as you sit low, big star pose, deep warrior two. Let's take one more full round, exhale it to the back, inhale through center, exhale, settle on in. Flip your front palm, keep your lunge deep, reverse your warrior, big inhale. On your exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat. Step yourself back to downward facing dog and drop down to your knees, take a breather. You can come to child's pose or just sit back on your heels. On your next breath in, come back up to tabletop and press back to downward facing dog. We're gonna revisit chair and add on a little bit. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop. I know that's exactly what you wanted to hear, more chair, right? <laughs> forward fold. Chair pose, bend your knees, sink back. If you like to reset by standing up and sinking back into chair, that's welcome. Lengthen your arms and sit your butt way back. Then on your exhale, you're gonna take your hands to your heart, twist over to your left and tap your elbow to your knee. Then I want you to stand all the way up, inhale. And exhale, take that twist to the other side. So that's going to be the motion. We're going to rotate side to side. If you need more space, widen your feet. If you wanna reduce the range of motion, you can just turn to one side without doing the elbow tap. So here we go. Up, sit back and twist. Up, sit back and twist. So your knees don't cross your toe line and your butt lowers, which means you bend your knees. Keep your chest high. As you're rotating, you're rotating your rib cage. The hips are staying in the same spot. They're not going side to side. Good. So compound move here, we're getting a twist and a squat at the same time. Keep working with it. You're doing great. Stand up and squeeze the legs. Sit back, tap the knee. Stand up, squeeze the legs. Sit way back, tap the knee. Let's go for four. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Inhale, stand up. And exhale, soft fold. Great job. Halfway lift your chest. Stabilize back into high plank. Plant your hands, step back. Long spine, strong legs. Breathe in. 
downward facing dog. Good, so just step your right foot forward, open up to a star pose. We'll come into our next exercise, which is horse squats. Good, so toes are gonna point out. As you bend your knees, your knees are gonna track the center of your feet. A little engagement in the outer glute area. So a lot of people are like, how do I work this? Track your knees wide, yeah? So you're turning in the side butt, right? The infinite side butt, how do we work it? Well, we work it, that's how we do it, all right? So sit low. On your inhale, star pose. Exhale, sit low. So I do want you to find a full range of motion here. Allow yourself to go as low as you can. Slow and steady stabilization on the way up. So rather thinking about speed, I want you to think about squeezing your muscles on the way up. Resist gravity. Go big, sit low, go big, sit low. So this is just building on some of that motion we created with the warrior two to star, because now we're doing both legs at the same time. You're doing great. Keep moving. Let's go for four, three, two. Maybe you're thinking there's gotta be more, and you'd be right. Hold on one. Good, sit a little lower. And I want you to think about your knees going back behind you for like teeny, teeny, teeny little pulses. Not a huge amount of movement. You might not even see them move very much. But I want you to think about pulling your knees back, 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 back. Four, three, two, one. Nice job, star pose. And shift back to down dog. So cartwheel your hands over and step. Deep breath in, big breath out. I think that one deserves a cha-cha. Oh, oh my booty, I feel it. Good, inhale, gaze forward, and we're not done with that yet. Exhale to step or hop, halfway lift, forward fold. For this next exercise, either grab some yoga blocks or go grab your kitchen chair so you just have something to stabilize. You can even do like two thick books or an ottoman, anything that just helps you stack your hands and find a halfway lift in your spine. Good, so we're gonna continue to work some of the stabilizing muscles of our hips, outer glutes, etc. So ground into the right leg, swing your left heel back like you're coming into a warrior three, and I want you to keep a soft bend in the right knee. So here, if you start to notice your toes are going out, I want you to dial them down and lift the heel up. So you're gonna notice that your spinal muscles are turning on, your hamstrings turning on, and your butt's turning on. So I want you to think about lifting your hamstring towards the ceiling and sending your heel back towards the wall behind you. Then glide your heart forward. We're gonna take eight curtsy squats from here. So softness in the right knee. Inhale, lengthen your chest and your heel in opposite directions. Exhale, curtsy squat, let the toe tap. Lengthen on inhale, exhale to tap. Lengthen on inhale, exhale to tap. So slow and controlled. And your hands are just touching these blocks or the ottoman or the chair for guidance, not to bear a lot of weight. So if you notice your white knuckle gripping, too much. Good, we've got three more. Squat and tap, push and lift back up. Squat and tap, expand back up. Squat and tap, this time hold, pulse for four. Think back, four, back. Three, two, one. Inhale, expand out. Exhale, forward fold, oh my goodness. Bend one knee and then the other. Relieve that hip. And we'll move to the other side. So grab those blocks. Give yourself a nice halfway lift. So we don't want to be dumping into the spine here. Really zip in and up. Move the chest forward. Left leg is your foundation leg. Right leg is now your flying leg. Again, looking for the pelvis to be leveled. So oftentimes we have to bend our knee a little bit to create a little give so that we can actually level out our hip. If your leg that's lifted is getting lazy and it's going don't let it droop, lift it back up. Move your heart, energize it away like you're telescoping the spine. Let's take eight. Inhale to expand, exhale, get low. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to curtsy. So you're only going as low as you can manage, and you're only crossing the midline as much as you can without any pain. Discomfort's totally fine, though. If you're telling me, oh, but my muscles are uncomfortable, I'm okay with that. That's what we're here for. Good. Let's go for three more. Three, two, hold on one, get low. So when you're pulsing, you're pulsing back so that we're burning out the butt and we're not antagonizing the knee. So pulse it back, 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 back. Inhale, send it out. Exhale, forward, fold. Nice work. Bow your head. Breath in. Breath out. Good work. Take your hands to your shins or the floor. Find a little halfway lift, a nice stretch. And step back to your down dog. Plant your hands, step your feet back, and release. Good. Bring your knees down to the floor. From here, we're just gonna continue on. We're gonna work our core a little bit. So we're gonna come into a forearm plank. Side forward into your plank, but instead of your hands being the foundation, your forearms will be. I like to take a grip of my fists for this particular exercise just because it gives me a little more stability. Walk each foot back, and I want your feet to be about hips width distance. If your butt's taking a journey towards the ceiling, lower it back down. Energize back through the heels and zip up through the front of the pelvis. So the belly comes into the spine, the pubic comes up towards the belly button. So a little pubic symphysis area, especially if you notice you sag a lot there, I want you to zip it in. Good, and then we're just gonna go tapping the knees. Tap and tap, good. So imagine you had like a glass of water or one of these blocks across your butt and you don't want it to tip over. So keep that area nice and stable, and you're just tapping the knees. You can always take a break and jump back in when you're ready. Tiny little taps, like you're barely kissing the earth. Continue to press into the forearms. These are challenging. They're challenging in like that deep burn way. <laughs> you can start to notice all the little muscles turning on going, okay, I'm here to help. Good, we're here for four on each side, three, doing great, two, one. Nice work, knees come down, sit back, roll your shoulders. We have two more exercises, you're doing great. We're gonna come onto our backs now. So come on down to the mat. Mm, that feels good, don't get too comfortable. <laughs> Draw the soles of your feet together. You're gonna let your knees go wide, so you're in Supta Baddha Konasana. Supta, recline, Baddha Konasana is bound angle pose. Soles of the feet together, belly button hugs in. I like to just really find my low back on the ground here. I tend to have a curvier low back, and so I have to pay special attention to um, supporting it when I'm in any of these belly up core exercises. Bring your fingertips towards your ears. I want you to focus on your chest just lifting. So if you notice that you're just moving your head a lot, that doesn't count and it just makes your neck hurt. So your chin's gonna essentially stay in the same position the entire way. Press your feet together. That activation is important for this variation of a crunch. On your inhale, lean the head back. On your exhale, lift the shoulder blades and chest off the earth. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. The front ribs are pulling in. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. Good. It's okay if you're only getting this top portion, right? Those are important little muscles too. Don't worry too much about the low torso right now. The heels pressing in is just helping you stabilize down there. Good, so let's go for four more. Four and lower, three, and lower, two, and lower. Come up to the top and hold. Let's pulse it out for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Nice work. 
Use your hands to close your legs. It just helps the groin and the inner thighs get a break if you use your hands. And bring the knees together. Good. One more exercise, y'all. We're almost there. This is not the time to quit. This is the time to dig deep. You can do it. All right, so we're gonna do 30, 60, 90s. You can keep your legs straight. You can also softly bend them. So you got some options here. If your back says, um, no thank you, I am a little bit nervous, then just reduce the range of motion. You don't have to lower as far. If you want to up the ante, grab one of your blocks or grab a little couch pillow that you probably have one nearby. Just slide that through between your shins and hug in. So it just creates a little extra muscle activation. For this, I like to tuck my thumbs underneath my hips so that my hips don't swing too much. Inhale, reset your heels all the way up. Exhale, lower 30, 60, 90. Continue to breathe as you hold at the bottom and hug that block or pillow if you have it. Four, three, two, one. Reset the heels all the way up. Big inhale, lower 30, 60, 90. Hold and breathe. Keep everything tight and light. Good. Reset. Send it up. Lower for 30, 60, 90. Hold. Squeeze everything in. Hug to the midline. Send it up. Last time. Lower 30, 60, 90. And then fishtail. Yep. Swing those heels side to side. So you're only going into the range of motion that you can control without pain. Discomfort's fine. So if your muscles are screaming at you, this is okay. If you're feeling anything sharp shooting or pinching, not okay. Four, three, two, one. Heels up. Ah, release that block or pillow if you have it. Bend your knees. Thighs come into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Yes. Good, we'll take a floating butterfly. Feet will come together. Grab the edges of your feet. Grabbing the edges of your feet feels far. Grab your ankles. Still just as groovy. Sweet, we'll take a twist. Knees come together and drop them to the right. So it's just a gentle, simple twist. Then this antagonizes your low back. You can place that pillow between the thighs and just keeps a spacing between the leg bones. Good, roll to the center. Keep it really easy at this point. Just hips over to the right, knees to the left. I never twist quite as well on this side and I think about it quite as well, but the reality is one side's not better than the other, right? I just don't twist the same amount from one side to the other. There's really no fixing necessary. Maybe you've gotten in that trap of the way you talk about your body, like everything needs to be fixed, or like it's not worthy as is until I lose that pound, or I twist that way, or I find that shape. That's all BS. Your body's doing exactly what you need it to right now, and any challenges that you're taking to change something, that's just it. It's obstacles, you're learning how to navigate it, and I really hope you're celebrating your sweat right now. Don't wait to celebrate yourself. Come through the center, hug your thighs into your chest. And that's one of those secrets. That's one of those secrets that um, when we realize that it's true, things unlock for us. But when we have physical goals, if we wait until some like undetermined date in the future to actually start appreciating our body. Like maybe you've said to yourself like, I'll like myself when my pant size is this. <sighs> you might be waiting a really long time. You might be setting yourself up to never, ever, ever give yourself the love that you deserve. So I'm here to tell you, you are doing just fine the way you are, and anything else that you're sending into your path that's challenging, that's when we just approach it with some joy. Send your feet up to the ceiling. I want you to shake out your legs, get a little goofy. Good, and then hug everything in. And let's lay out in Shavasana. Do not turn off this tape just because you think Shavasana is not important. It's the most important thing you can do. When we do have physical goals, especially weight loss goals, sometimes we forget that stress is one of the first things we have to learn how to manage so that we can shed anything we don't want. Maybe you don't even have a physical goal today. You're just here because you want some yoga. Well, then Shavasana. 
It also helps you navigate stress response in everyday life. So we move around our body, exercise releases endorphins. We learn to regulate our stress response so we can manage the cortisol in our body. We're starting to tap into the wisdom already built right inside of us. So as you're here in Shavasana, give yourself a few breaths to just celebrate your body, celebrate your breath, celebrate your mind, flood yourself with a little bit of gratitude, even if you have to dig really deep just to find one small thing that you like about yourself that you're really grateful for. Please do that work. Dig deep. Find something. Because you are worth it, my friend. You are 100% worth it. Take one more breath in. Let's do that big sigh out just because it feels good. <sighs> oh, I love that. Let's do one more just because it's good. <sighs> yeah, good. Roll over to your side. Knees can come into your chest. Hmm. And come up to sit. Oh my goodness, you did great. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you liked this video, remember, I have an entire one hour version, very similar to this, and we'll revisit some of those exercises that you learned here today. And if that's not enough for you, I also have a 30 day yoga for weight loss program that I love, and I am just so excited by the community that's being built around it. I also have some power yoga videos and more one hour classes over at the Yoga Plus app. So please join me there. If there's something else that's missing, something else you're craving that you really want, leave me a note, comment below, and tell me what is it that you're looking for and how can I create a video just for you. I am so excited that you took the time for yourself today and thank you so much for spending that time with me. I can't wait to see you in the next video. And until then, namaste. Introducing Yoga Plus, offering a free series every month with over 300 different videos. Take control of your health. Work out anytime, anywhere. Yoga Plus, download now for free.